World TB Day was observed across the globe today with calls made to redouble efforts to eradicate the disease. The U.S. government plays a significant role in providing funds towards the fight against TB and has signed a new partnership with our National Health Department. U.S. aid has pledged over 1 billion rand towards programs in Gauteng, Eastern Cape and KwaZulu-Natal. Dr. Priyashni Subrayan is Technical Director of TB at the Oram Institute and joins us for more on this. Dr. Subrayan, thank you for joining us at ENCA. But I guess the, the most important question is, are we winning the fight against TB? Yes, I have to say that there has been significant strides in um, our South African response to the, P uh, the TB uh, pandemic. Over the last few years, from 2015, we've seen a 50% uh, decline in the TB incidence. Our mortality rates, however, have not declined as, as significantly as we had liked. We have seen a massive decline in mortality amongst our people living with HIV that have been co-infected with TB, but um, mortality amongst HIV negative TB patients remain, um, you know, still on an, on an upward trend. I think in terms of, you know, winning the fight against TB, it's going to require concerted effort to actually reach those NTB uh, targets by 2030. And I understand this year's theme is, yes, you and I can end TB, but is that realistically possible? Yes, I, I honestly believe it, it is true. Um, it is not only up to the healthcare sector to, you know, to support the efforts in TB. We need, we need civil society, we need private sector, we need our communities and our patients also in this fight towards TB elimination. And what, on a personal level, you and I can do, or people at home can do, or let's say maybe rather those that suspect they have TB, um, what can they do? What options do they have? So the first thing is that if you are, you know, in a household where there is a patient who is on TB treatment, you need to go to a healthcare facility to get tested because you should be provided either with TB treatment or TB preventive therapy. In addition to that, I think all South Africans should know what the signs and symptoms of TB are. If they have a cough, a fever, night sweats, their unexplained weight loss, again, they need to go to a healthcare facility and get screened. We showed our, our, our solidarity when it came towards COVID, and our ability to access care when we needed, access the testing, I think we need to do exactly the same. If you are a TB patient on treatment, I would urge you to please continue your treatment as prescribed. Uh, if you are going to move or relocate to a different area, please let your clinic and your facility know so that they can make the right arrangements for your treatment to be uninterrupted and for you to get the care that you need. Mm, and there I is think the... for now... We could carry on, doctor. No, I was just saying that I think for now, you know, those are really critical. We need our patients. We're really trying very hard to keep the patients at the center of our care. That's part of our recovery plan, our NTP strategic plan for South Africa. Um, and we are, we are open to, you know, patient preferences. We're trying to bring the services to the communities as much as possible. Um, but we need our patients to be part of this for us to work towards elimination. Thanks. Mm, and just lastly, there is the $94 million that's been pledged by U.S. Agency for International Development, but there are threats to that, given that the U.S. is now uh, reviewing its relations with South Africa. How detrimental will that be in the fight to eradicate the disease? What I can tell you is that uh, today the Deputy M Mission Director to USAID has indicated the commitment towards TB elimination. The, the amount that he announced was for Accelerate, which is the flagship TB program of the United States Agency for International Development. 
and it is a commitment over the next five years. The great part about Accelerate um, and the Orem Institute is one of the recipients of this funding is that it aligns with the government's NTP strategic plan for TB as well as the TB recovery plan. And it is the commitment to eradicate and eliminate TB and support the government by developing and building capacity locally in the Department of Health. And finally, do you believe that government is doing enough on this fight against uh, TB? We understand it's high in provinces such as KwaZulu Natal, Eastern Cape, and Gauteng. And is enough being done by the health facilities? What I can tell you is that South Africa and the South African policies and guidelines are one of the most progressive. We are, you know, with Professor Njeka at the helm of the National TB uh, Cluster. We have some of the most progressive uh, guidance, but in addition, we respond very quickly to changes by WHO when new research becomes available. What we need to really focus on, and I know the Accelerate project uh, is about building resilient health systems, is ensuring that the health system is strong enough to be able to adequately implement these policies. We have new shorter regimens, we have more rapid diagnostics, and all of these um, are going to be critical towards TB elimination. Mm, definitely. Dr. Subrian, thank you very much for your time and your insight. That was Dr. Priyashni Subrian, Technical Director of TB at the Oram Institute. Now oh, to this. Patricia DeLille's Good Party has been rocked by another scandal. Last year, two senior Good Party members were expelled after being found guilty of serious misconduct and bringing the party's reputation in disrepute.